Well, welcome back, fellow YouTubers, toy and toy train buffs, to a special run session out here on the uh, Milwaukee Northwestern Layout. It's a uh, it's my second Labor Day run session, and we are featuring the circus. Yes, uh, a few months back, I set up a circus theme on the edge of town micro layout and I enjoyed the heck out of it I love circuses and uh, it was uh, it was a treat to be able to do that on the edge of town even with as little space as there is out out on that little thing uh, but you know I wanted to do something a little bit bigger I still don't have room for a full-blown circus setup However, uh, as I've said in previous videos, even if you don't have room, you can at least suggest things. Now, uh, I'm, a, I'm a great one for, for swapping out themes. It's what I've been doing for years now. And so for this, I took out some of the, uh, the urban scenery, the buildings from my Milwaukee Northwestern, and replaced it with a circus. Now, I don't have an actual full-blown circus tent that would fit in this space. So here's what I did. Uh, this is not only a special run session for Labor Day, it's also kind of a toy review. And if you notice, in the background, we have this Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey circus tent not a full-blown tent to be sure but suggestive of one this folks for those who like circuses and for those who like vintage toys this is a really cool set let me show you this try to position myself so I can get a good hold of it alrighty there we go. This is a circus playset made by Mattel in 1973 and sold exclusively at Shell service stations. Uh, the set came with I have two of these. <laughs> With this carry case. Okay, now the carry case play set concept was popular in the 70s and 80s. Uh, most of them, by and large, were, were larger than this set here. Some of them were made of vinyl, like this set, while others were made of tin litho. And I have a bunch of both, actually, in, in my collection out here in the cave. Now, this thing unfolds to become the setup you see back there. Back in 73, when you went to a shell dealer, the set that I just showed you, that carry-all, would have included 10 of 11 circus hacks. To get the 11th you'd have to go to the shell dealer and see what they had. See if the shell dealer had that that ele elusive 11th set. Now when you bought this thing you never really knew which of the 11 sets you were going to get in there or 10 of the 11 sets uh, that you were going to get in there. And you can see there's a whole bunch, trapeze, high wire, wild animal, train gorilla, high diver, accessory, clown, human cannonball, uh, what else? trained dogs and a horse, springboard, and a trained elephant act. All really, really cool toys. Now, I didn't break them out for this because they're all still, most of them are still sealed up in uh, the original packaging. What else have we got here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, I fleshed the scene out with 
key line figures, some fun and games and artista figures, and for wagons I have, uh, gosh I didn't count, a bunch. Uh, I have I think in my collection a total of uh, 45 wagons and still still adding more to it and but I don't have enough I don't have enough flat cars to haul them all so that's why they're not all on here on, on flat cars these handmade tents I bought many years ago I've been collecting circus stuff now since the 90s and I got these many years ago so uh, that was a lot of fun collecting these some of these wagons like this what's called this is based on a, a real wagon the two hemispheres wagon and it has uh, uh, a band on it and the band is very hard to to get I don't know they people make circus wagons but they don't make bands to go with them and I that I don't get so Alrighty, what we have for trains is, now I, I think in a previous video I referred to this Lionel engine as a 242 Columbia. Wrong, I was wrong. It's a 442 Atlantic. Uh, I probably just didn't see that extra set of wheels in the front, but this is a 442 Atlantic. And this is from, this set here is straight out of the box, Sears 1989 circus set. The big story here is this, the Ballyhoo uh, 464 Hudson Ballyhoo Circus alright with Circus Sounds Tender. Now let me, uh, oh I forgot, I forgot to show you something. There we go. All 11 of those Circus Act sets would come in a plastic bag like this. You'd have to cut it open and assemble them. These are the kind of things that went with that tent. Alright, just to show you, I almost forgot. Sorry. And, uh... Alright, now let me show you the Ballyhoo. I'm going to put it in neutral and then turn on now the way it works is this uh, when I bought this I thought it didn't work at first but because I was expecting this this tender sound circus sounds to be on automatically when I when I gave uh, power to the track well that's not true uh, you have to press the whistle button on the transformer in order for it to kick in and that's it that's what it plays all right uh, short clip so that is that's nice I like that it's cool so let's uh, let's get the trains running gotta be careful I've already had one incident out here this morning with the larger train My cheapo wireless speaker from Walmart. Uh-oh. 
Sorry. So another way you can come off. That's all from that incident earlier this morning. come off here. Well, let me show you something. We'll turn that off for now. Like the best the the best overall flat cars for circus wagons are the ones made by K-Line. Uh, you can see how these have these sort of like if you want to call them built-in chocks all right 
this one, this one, this one, this one. Now, the Lionels, here's one I bought. This was already modified. Someone had added wood planking to the top, and that's fine. But the Lionels are all flat on top. There's no way to hold the uh, wagons onto the, onto the flat car. Uh, without them falling off while running. So I had to add these little chalks from CircusCityDecals.com and f f most of them I put on pretty good. But even so, with running these, uh, running these trains, sometimes they, they, uh, the wagons themselves kind of wiggle loose. So uh, I'm always on the watch for wagons yeah, we're getting loose. So, and then that, that's you know, it's when you drive trains, <laughs> it's one of the uh, pitfalls you have to, to watch out for. Uh, so let's uh, let's start this up again and run some more trains. Now, some oh hey, this is kind of cool. You see this? And this, then we'll go over here to this one, and lastest but not leastest, we'll go over to that one. Those four circus wagons were made by Ertl. Now Ertl, for those of you familiar, are, is more well known for their die cast vehicles. These are not die cast. These are all cast resin. It was a set of four wagons that uh, that were a tribute to the Circus World Museum up in Baraboo, Wisconsin, a place I visited and would love to go back. I actually have been there twice in my life. Once when I was a little kid, and then uh, the second time back in ninety what ninety one. So, and I, I really enjoy it. They have a marvelous collection. Uh, and if not the best, one of the best circus museums in the country. And there are several of them. Uh, Peru, Indiana, Sarasota, Florida, Baraboo, and you know, I don't, I don't know. There's, I think there's more out there that, that simply won't come to mind right now. Got to be careful with the long consist. Well, I tell you what, with music playing in the background. And with issues popping up here and there, uh, let's just call this particular video an end. And I will post more running sessions for these two trains in other videos. How's that? So before we close, a uh, big shout out and thank you to all my new subscribers. Hope you enjoy the content. I try to vary it as much as possible. Uh, and this is proof of that. So until next time, tschüss, adieu, auf Wiedersehen, bye y'all.